Till next week. Johnny Cortez, remember him? Originally from Dulwich, London. 11 stone of him, one of the finest lightweights in the world today, in my opinion. His opponent, just coming in through the door now, from Manchester, Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson, the cousin of the famous heavyweight Billy Robinson, son of the famous boxer Alf Robinson. Also 11 stone, nothing in it weight-wise. 20 minute duration this contest, one fall to decide it. Let's go over to John Harris for the introductions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this contest indeed a clash of the lightweight contenders. The match is made over a time of 20 minutes, no rounds, a full time of 20 minutes, and will be decided by just the one single pinfall or submission, or of course one knockout. Coming out of the red corner on my left, it's a great pleasure to ask you to give a very warm welcome to the fabulous young man from Dulwich in South London, John Cortez. And now, out of the blue corner, please put your hands together to welcome into action the Manchester ace, Jackie Robinson. And your referee for this contest, Mr. Billy Finley. So, Billy Finley in his usual red shirt takes over this contest, a lightweight bout, 20 minutes duration, just one fall to the side. I personally think it's a bit of a pity it's a one-four contest because I'd like to see these two go on for quite a long time. Seconds away, commence wrestling. So there in the light yellow trunks and yellow and black boots, Jackie Robinson of Manchester. His opponent, the all black strip. And big Tash. I noticed his moustache, his robes as well. I saw him, Jackie. <laughs> Johnny Cortez, now residing in Bath but originally from Dulwich. Both men exactly the same weight. John Cortez, the former European lightweight champion, won it off Jim Briggs at the Albert Hall way back in 81, but lost it again, of course, afterwards. Jackie Robinson, tremendous family of uh, sport behind him. Famous boxer Alf Robinson, his father, and he was an amateur for six years, turning pro in 1975. Only part-time now, he runs the fruit and vegetable business in Denton, Manchester. Five foot six and five foot five, respectively, Cortez and Robinson. Both men have moved their base since I first I saw them on uh, the small screen. Jackie Robinson now. Uh, always born in Manchester, obviously, and always lived in Manchester, but he comes from Stockport now, where he's moved to. And John Cortez has moved from Dulwich to Bath. That's an even longer distance. But yet the flow of these two men. Really great technical experts, these two. Yes, he reached for a leg crab, tried the trip, Cortez saw it coming, and ropes break. Side head chance right now. Robinson. Into the ropes, both of them break. In this 20 minutes duration, contest one four to the side. around the neck or around the forehead, still holds it. No, no chance for Robinson to get out of that one. It's 
Still the forehead. Any follow up post press? No. Still back to the side headlock there. Down position, Cortez. That's a cross press of his jump, cross press didn't work at all. Cortez doesn't list a favorite move at all. He tries so hard, I think he makes it to be a master of all of them. Jackie Robinson, the jackknife special. Let's we'll see if he tries that on Cortez here this afternoon. Uh -huh, too late with that. Too deliberate. Toe and ankle, Cortez. Cortez in the black trunks, black boots. Well, one thing's for sure, Billy Finley hasn't had too much to do in this bar. Not like uh, poor Richard Frank Casey in a tag. <laughs> he was really busy. Sportsmen of this class, of course, don't need to try any inside moves. They've got plenty of legitimate moves to wrestle with. Second time Robertson's pulled that one off. That's got that arm right against the joint there. Cortez left arm. Oh, until that cross press, the fast one. Now, with his weight there, he'll never hold those shoulder blades. Now at the bridge. Top there, Cortez. Single foot to throw again. Double knee hold, no trouble. Double leg nails an attempt by Robinson, but into the ropes. Oh, oh. nice move by both men, but not getting anywhere. Both so even out. Let's get that applause from the crowd, the packed crowd here at Lewisham Theatre in Tatford, London. Really enjoying this one. Oh, we tried the weapon. Cortez didn't go with it. Made me sorry. And that left arm is full. He felt that. He should have gone with that whip. Now he's going to keep that left arm away a bit. Yes, Jackie Robinson, of course, goes straight for it. Perfectly legitimate. Weakened the limb legitimately, so it's perfectly legal for him to go after it. So halfway through this bout, then one fall to the side, it little sign of a pinfall or submission so far. Although a few attempts have been made, but really to no avail by either man. Double handed wrist lever, Cortez. Keeping that head right down behind in case Jackie Robinson reaches for the headlock. Take him over, beautiful towel. One of the further holding presses that Robinson is so famous for. Four 
Nelson Robinson. Cortez special, that one. And he's got those shoulder blades down, and for three, that's it. Cortez the winner, and Robinson fuming mad. But he'll be the sportsman I know he is in just a second as he comes over and congratulates us. There he is. And so, ladies and gentlemen, in the 12th minute of this contest, with only one fall required, the verdict goes to the lad from Dulwich, John Cortez. Nice part, but neither man could have lost that one. And now with our star bout, Rollerball Rocco and Johnny Saint still to come, we leave the ring briefly to get a different angle on the men we enjoy in action. It's a chance for them to have their say or get things off their chests. In this case, it's Clive Myers with a few well-chosen words for Kendo Nagasaki's manager, George Gillette. Ooh.